Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius for the mid-month of September 2017 regarding your love life. So I'm going to be pulling out cards for you and then I will be pulling out cards of your partner and see what spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of September, okay? If you guys are interested in any private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So let's get with your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid month of September. Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius for the mid month of September? All right, your cards are wow, you have the world card, Sagittarius. You have the King of Cups. You have the Eight of Swords. You have the Ten of Pentacles for your partner, the Page of Pentacles, the Temperance card, the Pope card, the Seven of Pentacles. So let me pull out the center issue. What's the center issue for the month of September for Sagittarius? <coughs> All right, the center issue is the Queen of Wands. All right. The Queen of Wands as a central issue, what it's representing is, this could be a representation of you, Sagittarius. Obviously, you're a fire sign. Uh, you're very, very much into your element. You're very confident for the mid-month of September going into October. Uh, very determined as well. And to very passionate and very intense Sagittarius. Uh, that's definitely a good thing <laughs> as a central issue. Um, I feel that in regards to your relationship or the person that you're dealing with, um, there is a lot of need for freedom uh, as far as you go, Sagittarius. And the reason why I say you particularly um, is because there is a definite feeling of restriction when it comes to you. Sagittarius are very known for uh, having the desire, the innate desire for freedom and not to say, um, I know a lot of people tend to say that Sagittarius are very hard to settle down, which I disagree. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with maturity, as with every other sign. Uh, but there is a need uh, to feel uh, your own person, even in partnership. So they have to respect that, and it has to be reciprocated as well. Um, but I feel that for the mid-month of September, uh, you coming up as a central issue, it's perhaps um, if there's been misunderstandings or not putting a lot of uh, consistency in the relationship, it partly has to do with the fact that you're wanting freedom or it could be very well that you're dealing with other people outside of your relationship. So you have the world card. There's definitely an ending cycle here or a desire for wanting to release yourself or move away from a current restrictive relationship or restrictive situation for you. Now you do have the king of cups here, so you may be dealing with a water sign. A water sign would be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, and because these are your cards, this has nothing to do with your partner. This is a third person or a person that you're dealing with or that you could be um, still carrying energies from a past relationship. Now, the eight of uh, swords definitely correlates with that. This is um, the binding. The, there still hasn't been a cutting of the cords from this past person, a person from the past. Or if you are in a long-term committed relationship and you're the one that's stepping out or talking to other people, this may be this water sign may be a person that you're dealing with. Again, like I said, the Eight of Swords is definitely being restricted, uh, feeling like you can't be free or you're losing yourself in this relationship or in, in the partnership that you're currently in. Again, the Eight of Swords is connected to the Ten of Pentacles. So there's definitely... Again, like I said, for those of you guys that are married or in a serious monogamous relationship, committed relationship, there's some type of restriction here where you feel like you can't be yourself or you feel like they are either too possessive um, or restricting you, not allowing to give you the freedom that you once perhaps had or are currently craving. Again, it probably has to do with the fact that you feel bounded or tied down to a uh, relationship that no longer serves you. Perhaps uh, it's run its course because the world card is definitely here. The world card definitely talks about endings. There's an ending of a cycle to begin anew. So again, I feel that this uh, King of Cups here has a lot to do with it. So for those of you guys that are currently 
uh, again, like I said, in a serious monogamous relationship, if you are the female in the relationship, it may be that you're dealing with or still carrying energies from this past lover that you once had or that you're actually putting effort and energy into this person even though you are in a committed relationship at the present time. Now, how your partner is seeing the situation. This is the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is definitely a communication or a message coming through where they were able to see or have a little bit more clarity in regards to where you stand in the relationship. So they're starting to understand and they're starting to see that there's a need for you to flow, your energy to flow freely. Um, it can also very well represent the, the fact that for those of you guys that are currently married, perhaps you guys feel obligated or tied down. Um, sorry this is your partner that maybe feel obligated or tied down the only reason why you guys are still even in a relationship probably has to do partly because there is children involved okay now the temperance card here is definitely a need for um balance so this could be your partner that is overindulging um perhaps overindulging it could be a representation of drinking very heavily doing drugs anything where they do it obsessively it could even be obsessively eating anything like that there's a very high need for balance um for your partner at the present time or again if they are or they tend to be on the possessive side there is a need for them uh, to get hold of that type of emotion and to balance it, uh, balancing it or be more grounded. Now, the Pope card here uh, next to the Temperance card is definitely talking about, again, like I said, having the need to balance, but not just balance, uh, getting clarity or understanding that there's a very huge difference being in a partnership and being in a committed relationship. And what I mean by that is, if you both can come to the determination of, you know what, yeah, let's be together um, and approach it as a partnership, uh, both of you guys need to put effort. Now, when it comes to being committed, um, that that's probably a subject that would have to come up. So what I'm trying to say is that for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with a person that is very either extremely old school, like... Um, again the possessiveness the if you're dealing with a male uh, they could be the macho type or they could be the type that doesn't really give you freedom to go out with your friends with female friends to hang out with them or whatnot and that's the reason why you're feeling restricted that's the reason why you're kind of losing interest in them and looking to see what's around now it is a general reading it could very well represent your partner as well uh, that he's the one that's feeling or she's the one that's feeling restricted and feeling like they can't breathe um, the temperance, there is a very strong need for you to either get clarity and the only way to find clarity is either through a practice, a meditation, uh, some type of spirituality or your religion. I highly encourage you guys to, um, you know, do whatever it is that you practice and actually put effort into getting clarity because I feel that this is not just so much you, but it can also represent your partner. Um, where there's been blurred lines uh, in regards to this relationship. So for some of you guys, you guys may be in this relationship, again, like I said, because of children. For others, it may be just the fact that your partner's with you because they feel responsible for, um, you know, the marriage, um, what family may think, etc. But it's, it's not a loving type of commitment um, is what I'm hearing. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles here, the Seven of Pentacles is definitely talking about looking towards the past or understanding that there was a shift change. There was something that happened uh, where you're not as invested as you once were, and perhaps it's them trying the best they can to put forth the effort now um, in, in actually basically reeling you back in or in igniting the passion that once was there. Again, like I said, I feel that for a lot of you Sagittarians, um, Perhaps there is a need for you to get clarity and understanding. Maybe it's even you, the one that at the present time doesn't really know what it is that you want. Um, so again, like I said, I highly encourage you to, you know, integrate meditation in your everyday routine life only to get more clear thoughts, uh, clear mind, being able to really decide for yourself. It could also be a representation of feeling like, all your life you've never been given the opportunity to make a choice it's like people have continuously m been making choices for you and Sagittarius is a sign that needs a lot of freedom so again like I said it could be you either retaliating or you know becoming a rebel so to speak um, wanting to do things now on your terms now for those of you guys that are currently 
uh, single at the present time, uh, the, the world card definitely talks about an ending cycle. And this ending cycle, there's a new person coming in for you. And this is a king of cups. The king of cups is uh, usually a person that's very clear headed, a person that uh, could be very compassionate, very um, loving type of energy. But the eight of swords here is that there is some type of feeling of restriction. So for some of you guys, again, like I said, for those of you guys that are currently single and have been single for a while, perhaps there's a fear of commitment because you feel like you're going to lose yourself within the relationship. You feel like you're not going to have the same freedom, etc. And when it comes to the person that's coming towards you, you may meet this person, um, this person may be connected to you uh, in regards to your finances and money. So it could be a person you meet at work. It could be an apprentice, someone that recently just started out of your work. The temperance definitely talks about a person that is extremely balanced and very spiritual because the Pope card here um, is being represented with the temperance. So the temperance is all about, you know, that of spirit guides, but also with the, with the Pope card, this is a person that is very connected to spirituality. And this person, again, with the seven of pentacles, I feel that, uh, there's a very high, there's very likely a connection here that comes through in regards to your money and finances. So again, like I said, don't be surprised if you find out that someone's actually interested in you or wanting to get to know you outside of work. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel and we'll see each other in the beginning of the month of October.